Hi! In this experiment, we explore one of the coolest phenomena in open channel flow, the hydraulic jump. You've probably seen it before when water hits your sink. A thin, fast stream suddenly jumps into a thicker, slower flow. That's what we're analyzing today. To model the hydraulic jump, we used only two tools from our course, the integral conservation of mass and the integral conservation of momentum. We combined these equations and, after some algebra, we arrived at this formula for the jump height. h2 over h1 equals 1 half times the square root of 1 plus 8 f1 squared minus 1, where far 1 is the Froude number, a ratio between inertial and gravitational forces. We set up our experiment in a sink using a flat surface and steady flow from the faucet. We first calibrated the flow rate by measuring how much water came out over time at each faucet setting. Then we recorded the hydraulic jump at different flow rates and carefully measured the height before and after the jump using a ruler. With our measurements of flow rate and pre-jump height, we calculated the upstream velocity and the Froude number. Using the theoretical formula, we predicted the post-jump height and compared it to what we observed. The results weren't a perfect match. In some cases, the measured jump was higher or lower than the theoretical prediction. This suggests that there are factors we didn't fully account for in the analysis, such as three-dimensional flow effects, energy losses due to turbulence, surface tension, or small measurement errors. Despite these differences, the theoretical trend generally follows the experimental results, and it helped us understand the physics behind the hydraulic jump. Hydraulic jumps occur when the flow transitions from supercritical to subcritical. That happens only above a certain flow rate. We did notice that below a threshold, the jump disappeared. Other than gravity, could different forces create a similar jump? maybe in rotating systems or flows with pressure gradients. The fluid's viscosity and density could also affect the result, but in water, the effect is pretty minor. Hydraulic jumps aren't just cool to watch. They're used to dissipate energy in dam spillways and even let people surf river waves. This project helped us connect real-world observations to fluid mechanics. It showed how the tools we learned mass and momentum conservation can predict complex flow behavior thanks for watching